Okay, then we will continue on with our game of Mr. President. And as in life, uh, Mr. Billingsley set up this game to where it is just <laughs> overflowing, <laughs> pouring on problems left and right. We are trying to rein it all in, but it has just hit the fan and gone everywhere. So uh, China has been our main antagonist early when it came to China or Russia acts. Now there's two China or Russia acts you can see here on the board. So luckily we only got to put up that twice. Um, what else here? We are on the, we drew our, per, our first chit and we got to draw two crisis cards, which is a double whammy. This one has to do with Europe and we will plus one to the regional crisis in Europe. So we'll go Europe from zero to one, which is all right. We can live with that, ain't too bad yet. Another consequence of the card will be, oh, what did I do with the card? Uh, trending anti-US, so we got a trending pro-US counter up here. We'll flip that back on over. And that'll be another consequence of the Eurozone. Trending anti-US. Next on the card, uh, minus one, public approval. A public approval is at 42 or 43. It'll go down to 42. Legacy points are still at two. All right, now, uh, place one tension counter on the POTUS cabinet. So what is up with that tensions? Here's a tension counter. What is cabinet? Oh, cabinet effectiveness. Oh, let me see here. All right, here, hold on. What do I put it on, though? Oh, cabinet effectiveness. Okay, I think they got us all listed here. Let's make sure we do this again. Uh, then, either hey, wait, hold on. Public approval. Oh, I'm over here. Place one tension counter on POTUS cabinet priorities. Six to one. Oh. Place one tension counter on POTUS cabinet priorities, six to one. Let me see what they want us to do on that. Uh, cabinet priority, public press relations. Uh, I see a tension spot here for POTUS cabinet focus. Uh, public legislation, am I missing a track here? Let me look this over on your back. I had our answer here to our question. Is right there where it says anytime the game instructs you to place a tension counter. So what we're going to do is put it to the right here and from six to one. So it goes down priority. So we'll go down here to, we got tensions in the cabinet effectiveness. Oh, POTUS cabinet focus priority five. So, oh, six to one. Okay. Priority focus six. Oh, I see what they're saying there. All right. So. Uh, instead of this being the sixth one, you look at the number six. Let me zoom in here for you. All right. So six to one. So our little address domestic domestic crisis focus priority six for our cabinet. It's got a little bit of tension on it. So whatever that means, we'll find out what's going on with that. So that is takes care of that part of the card. Oh, place one tension counter on POTUS cabinet. POTUS, POTUS cabinet. The priority is six to one, then either. Let me see which one of these I want to choose. This is where you get a choice. Be right back. And on two choices, if you deny responsibility, ain't nothing going to happen. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> They're all bad. If you uh, take your prestige check, you can maybe get something good to happen. So on this one, you can have a positive result. On this one, it's just a lesser of the bad results. So starting with one, which is regional crisis. This is regional crisis here. So I'm going place another trending. You know, that's another thing. I want to make sure of, and you might want to make note of in this game. I, a couple times where it says trending, or what was that over there? Trending anti-US, trending anti-US. It says here, and every time we've seen this, it says place a trending anti-US counter. I would say no because there was a counter already there, but here it might be the answer to that uh, dilemma. Place another trending anti-US counter. So, uh, maybe on those times when it told it, 
maybe in this game it matters how many trending anti-U.S. counters are up there. So there will be a point in the game where we'll have to count the number of trending. So I, I'm going to put one back on a couple of these. You know, I think one was uh, People's Republic of China and Russia Federation. I think they both get at least one. And this one says uh, the trending anti-U.S. in this spot. Here it is in this spot. They want us to put another one on there. So I guess it depends on how many. Uh, uh, these are different, though. Trending anti-U.S. are up here. So I don't know if you can see that now. See what my finger is. But they're on a, are on a different track. So that's kind of a little game dilemma. But we will do what the card tells us to do if we decide to deny responsibility. I think we're going to go ahead and make a presidential prestige check. Let's get a backbone. We don't want to be a Homer Simpson and say, oh, it was like it was like that when I got here. <laughs> or, uh, you know, kind of pass the buck. Because it can have some real bad uh, consequences. They're all bad consequences. And this one, though, you can reverse. So we will make a presidential prestige check. Uh, we'll find out how to do that. We'll be right back. All right. This is, our, this is the book of the game right here, Governing Manual. And, of course, just go over here to the... Uh, Oh, one-handed, one-handed is a pain. Uh, I look down here, and it tells you presidential prestige on page 15. We'll check this out, and we'll be right back. All right, well, while, while looking for uh, a presidential prestige check, I'm looking through these, this book, and if uh, you checked out any videos on this game, you'll our videos about you know openings and stuff. I did, did see Gary with Art Wolf's Lair complain about all the counters and not being able to see what they are. But here, they, they should put a note in here. There's a counter manifest right here. <laughs> it's got everything you need. Oh my God! So there you go. Mr. Billingsley is probably sitting in his chair, or rolling rolling in his chair, thinking, "You goofballs! It's all here. Just look." And here you go, where it's all set. But there, there's so many books. I mean, how are you going to know when you just open up the game? I'm finally getting into this, you know, after looking on through. But uh, I guess like anything else, when you get the game, just start looking through and checking it out. But here you go, Counter Manifest. I got a, need a salt and pepper shaker over here for all my words I have to eat all the time. But uh, now we're still looking for how to make a presidential prestige check. It was not in the... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Governing manual. It just told you what it was. I'm looking to see here. But I'm trying to find out how you make a presidential prestige check. I don't see it on here. Focus scandal tensions. Prestige check. All right. Still looking around for that. We'll be right back. Oh, man. Wow. I was a search and a half. I have searched through all these booklets and everything. I know everything's in here. It's just a matter of volume of everything. Everything you need to know before you complain, look, because I think they got it covered. Oh, presidential prestige check. Finally looked. After looking at this once, I had to look at it twice or three times. And you come down here and make a presidential prestige check. D18. They should have had that down here. Oh, a D18. I would have told you, but... Anyway, we will spend two action points. Our action points are going down here. Seven. We got, we're got. we down to five. Oh, and our prestige is right here. Here's where you have your prestige. So, we're all good. Now we're going to check this prestige check. Make a presidential prestige check. What's D18? D18? Let's go see. I looked through here, but I probably passed it on up. D16. Where's D18? No, it ain't no D18. It's D7. Oh, D18. Track checks. Search to make check. Set presidential prestige against one of the tracks. A game following list of tracks you will need. Blah, blah, blah. World tracks pass. Track check. All right. No big deal. We will go over here to... Here's track checks. It told us to go to D18, but... Uh, we're doing... Oh, it's on this card. All right. Uh, procedure. Make a president of prestige check. One or less. Well, what the heck is this? All right. I got to check this out off camera. All right. 
right, so then this here will take you to, for presidential prestige check, the presidential master actions. This tells you to make a presidential prestige check, and it is D18. You're over here in the domestic charts, D18, and it tells you down here. <laughs> they got it all set up. You try, you, you'll fight it, but if you just go along with it, they got you all set. Uh... Uh, when you make a track check, follow this procedure. Find a current rating where the counter is, and it's on a six. All right. Roll one d ten. Nine. Uh, if the result is equal to oh, okay, if the result equal to or less the current rating on a track you're testing, you have passed the check. All right. Rating was six. We rolled a nine. We failed. If the result equal to or less, if the, it's greater than the current rating attack, you have failed the check. Place another trending anti US counter. Ouch, that hurts. Well, we tried it. In the Eurozone, place another trending anti US counter. Now, I did look on there uh, earlier after I've before I'm going through all this. And it does say only put one on there. So this one says put another one. So we will do that. Let me be right back. All right, it'll be coming down here to page 29 of the uh, governing manual. And it tells you right here, I'm going to read this. What it tells you to place it. And I'm pretty sure it says through all this, I've read it once before, but it tells you there's only one counter should be there. Let me check this out. We'll be right back. All right. When a game result instructs you to place a trending anti-US counter in a region. If there is all currently a trending US counter on the track, remove it. Decrease the regional alignment counter to the next lower box. It is already in the lowest box, leave the trending US counter in the track, but do nothing else. Alright, well here you go. That answers our question. We'll be right back. We removed this counter and it was right here next to the Eurozone. And we're going to uh, decrease the regional alignment counter to the next lower level. Regional alignment, regional alignment to this one. Okay. So, let's see here, it was taken off. And that was below. That was a procedure for that. All right, we are on it, on it, on it. Nothing's got a stump yet. That will take care of our first crisis. Uh, I think we took, we used our two action points, and we're good to go. Crisis card done. Oh, what do I do with this thing? It goes into the discard. I'm pretty sure it's a D. D, 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 shuffle tie. Oh, I'm not sure. All right, we'll be back. All right, governing manual has us covered, and this time on page 10. And it tells you right here what to do with it. It's discarded, like it says. You take it out of the game. We'll be back. All right, first chip pull is done. We didn't do too good on that one. We could have definitely used that uh, good result on that presidential prestige check. All right, we already draw us another crisis chip. Let's draw it like this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. We draw another crisis card. There you go. Oh, what you got, what you got, what you just got to watch. You got to keep an eye on me sometimes. Oh, let me see here. All right, well, here we go. There's another event. Oh, immediate. Relations of Congress are sucking. Another presidential prestige check. Oh, we've been doing those a bunch. Radicals in Congress directly challenge the president. All right. Minus one relations of Congress. Adjust bipartisan cooperation left by one block. Oh. Minus one relations with Congress. Oh, what we got here? Not seeing it. Not seeing it. I see a bipartisan cooperation. All right, we got back. There you go. Just got to look. I believe we had to look. Oh, this thing's got so many tables. Minus one relations with Congress. All right. We're going down this way. They're going to goes down one. All right. Adjust bipartisan cooperation left by one block. 
there we go, bipartisan cooperation to the left by one block. It's still one, but it's not conciliatory, huh? All right, and we will make us a presidential prestige check. It does not say anything about action points this time, though, so there you go. Oh, this will do it for this shit. Where was that chart at? It is domestic master actions. Oh. Ah. Where did I see that at? Oh. Oh, here it is. It's right here. All right. We'll be right back. All right, again. It's on a domestic chart. We will uh, roll 1d10. And uh, oh, we want to get a six or less because our prestige is at six. I don't see any die roll modifiers. Oh, oh, pass, pass, pass. Oh, look, I'm already. All right, six or less for our public opinion to side with us. Four, we'll take that. Pass. Public opinion size to you, plus one public approval. You may adjust the public priority up or down by one box. Hold on. Public opinion size to you, one public approval. We'll go up to 44. Now the rest of this is you may adjust one public priority up or down by one box. Public priority. Huh. Well, there you go. So I can I can make one more of a priority. What would I want to do? Uh, uh, public priority. I think we went to tax reform as the number one. Well, I could move one up or down by one box. Let me check that out. We'll be right back. All right, we're gonna move tax reform up. Get rid of this NASA funding so tax reform will go up. And there you go. Our number one public legislative priority is now tax reform. All right, let me make sure public opinion is with you. Plus one public approval. You may adjust one public priority up or down by one box. Oh, administration priorities, public legislation priorities. All right, well, I think we're good. That is it. This one here also. Oh, sorry about the focus. It gets discarded. So we were, we have survived our second event. I'm putting the discarded ones up here. There's I got a big pile and a little pile. I'm not really sure, but these are all not used in the game. So we'll put them right there. Make sure I didn't touch nothing. Everything here is good. All right. Uh, we'll see where we're at. I'm pretty sure we are done with the draw one shit. We got two. We got the two shit. Okay, if plus, if a plus, draw again, draw two crisis cards. Uh, well, let me check this out, be right back. All right, we can see here, it tells you to draw one shit. We did, and if you got that on your card, you draw it again. We don't, we just got the crisis card, so we can skip, I think, this one and this one, and we'll go up to Ally Rogue Group X. I'm pretty sure that's where we'll go. Uh, I don't know what you do with this shit when you're done with it. Oh, do you take it out? Let me put it back in. All right, we'll be back. All right, it says after you draw it, you place it on a draw one shit, so we will put that on a draw one shit. It says at the end of the year, it can go back into the uh, cup. So that's what you do with the shit. They got us all covered on this game so far. All right, we are still with it. We will uh, go over here. If the crisis shit you drew had no plus sign on it, which it did not, this finishes the segment. Move your counter to the one ally row group act segment of the activation phase and your turn sequence track. So we are now up here. From here. All right, we're on it, man. We're on it. Oh, I'll take a little break. It's got to be a Central America weekend. So I'm having fun with this game. We will call this. Uh, maybe we'll just stop this and continue it later. Uh, but uh, well, we might call a quick video. Just crank them out. Don't have to be all that long. And uh, we'll see you in uh, El Salvador.